Hello crochet friend! Today I'm going to show you how to crochet the cutest tulip flowers that are perfect for gifting. You can gift for Mother's Day, for Valentine's Day, for birthdays to your friends and you can gift them individually just like this one or you can make those super trendy floral bouquets and if you are looking for flowers I have three designs already here on my channel so I'll leave them all linked in the description below. And these are super quick, super easy to crochet. You can make one in around one hour and a half and the more you do the quicker it gets. So I really hope you enjoy and now let's begin. So here's everything I'm going to be using and if you want to check it out I'll leave the links in the description below. So starting with the yarn, these are the two that I'm using, orange for the flower and green for the stem and the leaf. The orange one is a mixture of wool and acrylic and the green one is only acrylic and both of them are DK yarns. And then I'm going to be using hot glue, a tape measure, a wire cutter, a round nose plier. And then for the wires I have here two different ones, one for the stem and one to make the leaf nice and sturdy. So I have here a two millimeters florist wire and then I also have here a thinner one, this is a 0.5 millimeters. And then I'm going to be using a tapestry needle, a four millimeters crochet hook, a small pair of scissors and lastly a little bit of fiber stuffing to stuff the inside of the flower. So that's everything I'm going to be using. So now let's begin and I'm going to show you first how to make the flower. So I'm going to be starting with the orange. Can we get the end from the center? Ooh, there you go. <laughs> so before you work your slip knot, you want to leave an end here of about 30 centimeters. And then right here, I'm going to make my slip knot. So this is how it's going to look like. And we are going to be using this end here to make a sewing later. So now I'm going to be chaining 15 or a seven centimeters chain if you are using a different yarn weight. So as you can see, my chain, it's measuring seven centimeters. So now we are going to be skipping the very first chain and then work a half double crochet into the following chain. And now work one half double crochet into every chain down. So we are going to be having 14 half double crochets. The chain one that we have skipped at the beginning does not count as a stitch. So once you have round one completed with your 14 half double crochets to go up, you are going to chain one, turn your project and the chain one is not going to count as a stitch and then we are going to be working back loop only for every single row. So skip the chain one, go into the next stitch, back loop only and work one half double crochet. And now work one half double crochet, back loop only into every stitch down. So for every row you will have the same stitch count, so 14 half double crochets. So when you get at the end you can choose to get the back loop only or the entire stitch. I prefer getting the entire stitch at the end for a better finish. So I'm gonna get the entire stitch of the last stitch and I'm going to half double crochet into that. You will see that by going through the entire stitch at the end here it's going to make it really nice and straight the sides. So now repeat round two until you have 14 centimeters. So chain one, turn project and work one half double crochet back loop only into every stitch down. So when you get at the end, you can get the back loop only or the entire stitch. The last one. I get the entire stitch and you can see that it's really nice and straight. I think it gives a better finish but then you can choose how you want to do it. So now repeat row three until you have the sizing that you want. I'm doing 14 rows in which is equivalent to 14 centimeters. So I have here now the 14 rows completed and it's measuring 14 centimeters and then the width here is seven and a half. So you want to get closer to those measurements if you want to get a flower this size. So before you fasten off you want to also leave 30 centimeters here just like at the beginning. 
and now you can fasten off. So I chain one and then fasten off. So now we are going to be turning this rectangle into this beautiful tulip flower. So I'm going to prepare my wire so that we can glue inside the flower. So what I do, I get my round nose plier and then I'm going to be folding the top here into a loop. So now hold the wire right after the loop and then you're going to make a loop backwards and then you're going to be holding the loops right in the center all together and then you're going to be twisting it until it's nice and flat at the top like so and then you have the wire at the bottom. So this is how it's going to look like. So now you can also cut to the sizing you want. So I'm going to be cutting mine to 30 centimeters, measuring from the top. So you can thread any of the yarns into a tapestry needle. I'm going to be doing the one here at the bottom in which is from the very first row. So you're going to be choosing the side where you have the yarn attached. So this one here, and I'm going to zigzag stitch all the way up through this longer side here. All the way until the other stitch. So now once you're here at the top, we can fold the sides together and then we can choose one stitch on both sides. And then we are going to make the bottom here really nice and tight. So now we have to fasten off. So choose one stitch on both sides again and then leave a little loop at the end. And then you're going to go through the loop to fasten off. And now we are going to be sewing the side here close. So I'm going to go through the first one. So here is my bottom row and here's my top row. So I'm going to go through the stitch of the bottom and the front loop of that top row and then sew that together. And then I'm going to be repeating this all the way up, sewing the two sides together. And then here at the top, we are going to fasten off. So make a loop and go through the loop to fasten off. And if you have enough yarn of this same yarn, you can actually do the top here with this same yarn. If not, you can weave in and use the one here at the top. So I'm going to weave in this one and then I'm going to use the other one for the top. And I did a weave in here on the outside because now we are going to turn the flower inside out so that we have the nicer side here at the bottom and it's going to look like that in the sewing. It's pretty invisible. Look at that. Love it. Where is the sewing? Oh, right here. <laughs> so now we are going to be inserting the wire into the center at the bottom of the flower into the little space right in the center where we did the sewing and then you can push that in. If you want to be a little bit easier, you can turn the flower inside out so you can see the bottom now and then we can apply the glue and glue that in place. Now we can just let it dry. So now the glue is dry. I'm going to turn inside out again. And now we can add some stuffing inside the flower and you can add as much as you want. So now we can close here the top. So I'm going to thread the top yarn into a tapestry needle. So now to close here at the top, we are going to be matching another stitch here on the opposite side, following the end that we have on this side. So I'm going to kind of fold it and I'm going to choose one stitch here on the opposite side and then sew those together. And then I'm going to go through one stitch on both sides and just secure that in place one more time. And now we have the two other sides here. So we are going to bring them together like so. And then just holding it together, you're going to go through one of the sides and then through the center, through the opposite side. And then sew those three little stitches together and then go through them one more time. 
securing everything in place and then you can fasten off. If you want, you can sew each of them going up and down, up and down, up and down. If you want to, I don't personally. So I'm just going to fasten off one more time. And then I'm just going to hide this yarn inside the flower. So now you can just mold it in place. I like to just press it on the sides like this a little bit and then organize the little detail here at the top, just pressing it together. And now the next thing I'm going to show you will be how to crochet the leaf. So I'm just gonna leave the wire ready and I'm going to be cutting it to 40 centimeters. So now leave the wire to the side and let's begin crocheting the leaf. So leave a nice tail for the weave-in, make a slip knot, and then chain 31. So here's my chain of 31. So now we have to incorporate the wire into the stitches that we are going to be doing on both sides of the chain. So I'm going to be placing the wire right on top of my yarn, as you can see, close to the chain. I'm going to leave a nice end here. And then I'm going to be skipping the very first chain and then go into the next chain and work a single crochet. And you wanna make sure that the wire is in between the stitch, as you can see. So single crochet. And then now single crochet into the next two chains. So at the beginning here, we are going to be having three single crochets. And now work one half double crochet into the next three chains. So next I'm going to be doing one double crochet into the next 18 stitches and then I'll have six left at the end. So just work one double crochet into the next 18 chains. And this is how it's going to look like with the wire in between the stitches. So as you can see, I have six chains left here at the end. So I'm going to work one half double crochet into the next three. And then one single crochet into the next two. And then into the last one, I'm gonna work three single crochets into the same chain. And you wanna make sure that you get two little loops of that chain. So work three single crochets into the same chain, the last one. And now what we have to do is to fold the wire. So I'm going to put both ends together and I'm going to fold it in half. And you wanna make sure that the top, the three single crochets, it's right into the folded edge here at the top. So right here. I'm going to feed this end in between my stitches as well so that it's nice and weaved in. So we are going to be skipping the chain that we did the three single crochets and we are gonna go into the next one. So into that one, I'm gonna work one single crochet and then into the following chain, the following stitch, I'm gonna work one single crochet. And now work one half double crochet into the next three chains, stitches. And now following the other side, work one double crochet into the next 18 stitches. And now once you have six stitches remaining at the end, work one half double crochet into the next three stitches. And then to finish it off, work one single crochet into the last three stitches. The last one is right here. And now all you have to do is to just turn your work like so, and then go into the very first stitch, the very first single crochet, and then you're going to make it nice and tight, pull up a loop and slip stitch. 
and now chain one leave a tail here of about 15 centimeters just so that we can cover a little bit the wire at the bottom here so i leave about 15 centimeters you don't need a lot and now chain one i did chain one already and fasten off and now i'm going to weave in the end that i have here at the back of the leaf and what I like to do is just to fold the leaf in half, like so, and then press the two sides together. And then when you open up, it looks like this. So a little bit more neat in the center. And then we are going to twist the ends of the wire here at the bottom. It's going to twist a little bit the leaf, so just make sure that you untwist it and leave it nice and flat, like so. So now we are going to be wrapping the wire with yarn. So I'm going to be using hot glue to glue that in place. So now once we have the flower and the leaf completed, we can now put the two together. So I'm going to be starting by wrapping some yarn around the wire here. So I'm going to be using the same yarn as I have used for the leaf and we can leave the yarn attached to the yarn ball. So I'm going to be gluing this yarn to the bottom of the flower close to the wire. Let it dry and now you can cut off the smaller end. And now all you have to do is to wrap the yarn around the wire. And then to add the leaf in place, you're going to be wrapping until you wanna add the leaf. So I'm gonna do it about here. So I'm gonna wrap it until I get to this point and then add the leaf and then continue the wrapping. So when I get to the point where I wanna add the leaf, I'm gonna place the leaf close to the last wrapping that I did and then just hold the two together and then I'm going to be wrapping the leaf with the wire, just like so. And then you wanna do it all the way until you don't see the wire of the leaf anymore. And then once you get to the bottom, once everything's covered, you can just continue wrapping all the way down. And then when you get to the bottom, apply a little bit of glue to the wire and finish the wrapping all the way down. Once it's really nice and dry, we can cut off the yarn. Just clean really nicely here at the bottom. And that was the very last step. And now you have your flower completed. And then you can do as many as you want following the same steps. And I made three in total so far. So the white, the orange, and the yellow one. And they look so cute together. Isn't it the cutest thing? I just love how they look like. So these flowers are perfect for gifting, for Mother's Day, for Valentine's Day, if you want a gift to your friends as well. A really nice floral bouquet or just gifting one like this. I see many people doing it because it's just so pretty. So yeah, this is how you crochet the tulip crochet flower i really hope you guys have enjoyed the process and how they turned out and if you end up making one don't forget to tag me on instagram on tiktok so i can see your take on it and the colors you have chosen and how you're going to be using them for so thank you so so much for watching and if you have enjoyed don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe here to the channel so you can watch more videos like this one thank you so much again for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye